Just so much workout and so much practice in the gym, you know. We do so many repetitions and like so many numbers. I think I know my skills inside out and I'm still working on that for bars. I, I definitely want to do more bars when I get home and just really get to know my skills. But on beam, I know it inside and out. I know what to do if I'm a little bit off. I know what to do if this foot is over here. And just from doing that so many times, I knew I was going to hit, but it was just the nerves were more how well was I going to do it. It means the world to me. I mean, when I was a little girl watching all the other girls make the Olympics, I thought, well, that's pretty cool. But um, never would I probably have thought that I'd be sitting in this chair right now talking to you guys. This is insane. <laughs> I mean, I remember in 2012 watching all the confetti fall, and I remember before the meet even started looking at my coach and saying, like, man, I really want to be out there when that confetti falls, you know, I want to see it drop to the floor. And um, when I was out there with all these other girls and seeing it drop and seeing everybody's flashlights out, and it was just a really big deal, and my heart dropped. Um, <laughs> I got kind of emotional thinking about it, so. I mean, these girls are such an inspiration, obviously, to little girls around the world, but, you know, to me, too. Even being 12, I was so young back then. Four years really matures you, so it's insane to be on a team with them. Um, I honestly wasn't expecting that. I mean, it was, I'm really grateful for the crowd to just be so energetic and so in tune with all of our routines. It's really good energy that I used. I mean, there's a few things that I look back on, and I'm like, oh, I could fix that. And I'm like, you know what? That was really solid. Just leave it, you know? But um, I'm... I'm speechless. That was insane. You know, last routine of the night, all I wanted to do was do a really good beam routine and end with a bang. I was telling Simone that before I even got up there. I was like, I'm not nervous to just make the routine. I'm nervous because I wanted to be so good and just end with that. And I did. And that's so nice. <laughs> um, it was amazing. You know, at first I was just, I was so happy. I thought, you know, in 2012, I saw Allie do a double pike spit jump at the Olympics and then start crying mid routine. And I thought I was going to start crying, but I was just really happy out there. And then all the girls came over, we were just hugging, and they said, you did so well. And then Allie started crying, and then Simone started crying, and then I started crying, and then it was just a puddle of gymnast tears everywhere. <laughs> I think I've never had my hands shake so much in my life, and um, I was, like, sweating like crazy. Um, we were all just sitting on our phones trying to distract ourselves, and, um, you know, I've been getting asked a lot, like, didn't you think, you know, maybe you were a lock for the team, and it... It doesn't matter like what you think or what you don't think. It's when they call your name. That's it, you know. And even Simone, she's first place. We were like, that's it, Simone, you know. People who are in first automatically go to the Olympics. You could start crying now. And we started laughing. She was like, no, 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 I want to hear them say my name. And I think that went for all of us, too. And that was just insane. <laughs>